All right, welcome to our uh, lesson four, final lesson on the normal distribution. Um, so this one, we're actually going to look at some hurricane data this uh, in this lesson. So we're just talking about how really if, if you have something that's really hard to predict and it seems, um, it seems very chaotic, uh, the normal distribution is actually a way to, uh, to do this. Um, and so we're going to talk about this data. I did make an assumption in this data that's... Um, it's probably not accurate. It's probably not that normally distributed, but uh, it still actually fits as a nice example. Uh, so this was a video about a Category 5 hurricane wind. So we'll be talking about Category 4 or 5 hurricanes in this uh, in this lesson. Uh, so as a warm-up, we're going to assume that sustained wind speed of a hurricane is normally distributed. Um, the problem is that I assume that Category 4 or 5 hurricanes are normally distributed, and they they probably more likely be um, right skewed uh, more uh, in the lower ends because um, sustained wind speed would be normally distributed but uh, if you can overlook that fact we can still actually just go through the examples. Um, so if we know that um, there's a 16% chance that um, a hurricane will sustain winds over 273, um, the, the question is like how many standard deviations above the average is the hurricane? Um, and, uh, and what might be the mean and, and what might be the standard deviation? Um, and again, so just of category four or five hurricane winds. Uh, this, is the, this is potentially the mean and standard deviation, 257, uh, 273. So this is from the data I had, um, I calculated mean and standard deviation. So this kind of gives you an idea of where category four or five hurricane winds. And so just overlook the fact that they probably more likely go like this um, with like a right skew distribution. But um, we'll just use it as an example. 68% uh, are within one standard deviation, so from 241 to 273. Um, so this would be a mean and standard deviation if this would be the 16% number. And so if you are one standard deviation above the average, you're, there's 16% above you. Um, the learning goal here is uh, looking at how to more accurately determine probability with Z scores. So Z scores give me the new idea. Um, they're related to the mean and standard deviation, uh, recognizing how, um, calculating them, um, calculating probabilities, and then um, given a percentile, given a Z score, finding a value. Uh, so the Z score. Um, a Z score is a measure of number of standard deviations um, above or below the mean. So when we talk about the that number, what's the number that sixteen percent has sixteen percent above? That was a Z value of one. Um, so two hundred nine to three hundred five would be negative three to three uh, for that example. Um, it's calculated by finding distance in terms of standard deviations that a point is from the average. So this is the formula. Um, so this is actually two the same formula twice. And, that, and the only reason why it's showing up twice is because there's a, a the mean for population is written with the mu, and the sigma is used for the population standard deviation. Uh, so we can also use in a sample x bar and s. Uh, really, you just have to know that it's x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. And that gives you how many uh, above the mean you are, or below. Uh, so you can calculate the following of these, just to, to double check to see. Um, and we can use the formula to find uh, the Z score, uh, if the Z score was negative 2.3, you can um, plug it in here and solve for X. And you're always going to be given the mean and the standard deviation. Uh, or you can think about, uh, or you might be asked a question where you have to think about it, but you always have to be given enough information. Um, what's happened by taking the X value and converting it to a Z score is now we're looking at a different curve, uh, the normal curve. So it's still a normally distributed, but uh, now the mean is zero and standard deviation and the standard deviation is one. And so the plus one tells you that you're plus one Z value and plus two is two Z values. Uh, the standard normal curve um, has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. And this is what enables you to like do a Google image search and say the normal distribution chart. Um, because like uh, what we can do is we can take any situation with a mean and standard deviation, use Z scores to get it to this chart, this exact chart. Um, and the chart gives you the percentile for a given value for the, the Z score. Um, 
So we're going to use this a chart. Um, and again, you can do like a Google image search for the normal distribution chart, and it'll come up right away. A percentile is the percentage of data that is given below that is below a given value. Um, we've already we already know that we've already calculated some uh, 68, 95, 99 point seven. So the, the percentile at z equals negative one is called 16 percent. Uh, so that's a new definition there. Uh, we've we've had quartile and like Q1 and Q3. Uh, it's kind of related that these are percentiles are more specific, um, not just 25 and 75. Um, this is saying that 16% of the data is below one, uh, so it's at the 16th percentile. Uh, Z equals zero is at the 50th. Z equals one is at the 84th, because 84% is lower. Um, and the chart, um, oh, we're going to look at a piece of the chart, but it's found on page 480 in the textbook. Uh, but also a Google image search will get you the chart. Um, states percentile is between negative 2.99 and 2.99. Depending on what chart you have, it might go a little bit further. Um, but this, these virtually get to zero and virtually get to one, hundred um, percent. Um, it gives you two decimal places, a second decimal place across the top, and so we'll actually look at using it right now. Uh, so if you had a z-score of 0 0.82, so you go to 0 0.8, and then the second decimal 0 0.82, that's the 79th um, percentile. The z-score at the 82nd percentile, we can go to the the 82 percent number. Um, and we're actually right between two numbers, so you can say, well, it's between 0.91 and 0.92, which is 0 0.915. Um, above 0.91, so if we look up the Z value for 0 0.91, uh, you can go over to 0 0.9 and then over to 1. Uh, that's 81% below it, so it's 18.14% below it, above it. And then between 0.3 and 1.21, uh, we can look up 0.3 and 1.21, 0 0.30, 1.21. And so between that, um, so if there's 62% below this one and 89% below this one, if you subtract that, there's 27% between. And so here's some practice that you can, you can do using the chart. Um, and so I'll, I'll leave that to you to like try to find things. Um, if you had a question that uh, hurricane is higher than 90%, that's the 90th percentile. Um, hurricane is slower than 75%, that's the, that's the 25th percentile. And there's some more practice.